What's up guys, it's Tobias from the Sabaya Cartel. So I'm going to be showing you guys this uh, pretty sexy gameplay that I got with Senyata. I call this Senyata 100 Ice Senyata and you guys are probably wondering what the fuck is it called 100 Ice Senyata? Guys, I've been watching Marco Polo Season 2, like seriously, like, come on, Marco Polo Season 2 is fucking fire so far. I'm not gonna spoil anything. If you guys don't watch Marco Polo, there's this guy in Marco Polo called 100 Ice. He's a Taoist monk, right? The dude is a fucking badass. He's always be, you know, he has the crazy fast martial art type kung fu and stuff. I really don't know uh, anything about Kung Fu, uh, even though I did karate for a couple of years. But the point is that 100 Eyes is actually very, very fast. And he did say on his own arc, oh yeah, now I see the world with 100 eyes rather than two eyes, something like that. Anyways, let's talk about this and Yata, because obviously that's what you guys clicked on this video for. 100 Eyes and Yata, how you guys want to play with him. Okay, you guys are going to be seeing a lot of examples of what I'm actually talking about in this gameplay. So, I'm, guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know, feel free to drop a like, feel free to subscribe uh, to join the Sabaya Cartel, because I'm going to be breaking down uh, more gameplays like I did with my Search and Destroy Mastery series in Black Ops 3, because obviously I want you guys to, you know, get better at this game. This Senyata is also going to be very, very good in competitive if you guys play him aggressively. Um, so, this Senyata, you, you are going to be playing aggressively, but you don't want to be in the front lines, right? You're just going to be in the middle lines. As you guys are going to see, be seeing a lot in this gameplay, mainly what I do is just spam the hell out of the single orbs, and spam the hell out of the Discord Orb. Yes, I am going to be concentrating on healing my enemies and healing my friends as much as I can. I'm even going to be concentrating on healing the Mercy because obviously I want to keep the Mercy alive. But mainly what you guys want to do is spam the Discord Orb and spam the regular attack that Senyata has, you know, the single orbs. And the reason for that is, is because right now in Overwatch, Overwatch is in a state where... Uh, you're going, like, you hit someone with the score orb, as you guys can see right there, I hit that dude with the score orb, and he ran away, like, he did not challenge me, and the reason for that is, is because people now know, you get hit with the score orb, and you're fucking fucked, okay? Oh, and by the way, this is, uh, one of the things that you guys should also be aware of when you're playing with this Senyata, watch out for tracers, uh, always be listening, you know, to the audio cue, I actually got killed by that tracer, because when I'm playing Overwatch, uh, you know, just to get gameplay, I, I, I'm either listening to an audiobook, I'm either listening to a podcast, or I'm just, you know, listening to music or a YouTube video. So obviously, you know, I, I can't really, I'm not aware of the audio cues. But yeah, like I was saying, just watch out for tracers, watch out for McCree's, McCree's fucking melt you. Uh, Soldier 76s, they also destroy you. Um, what's this other freaking character? Uh, Jesus Christ, Reapers, yes, Reapers, very, very dangerous. If you see a fucking Reaper, just run away, okay? But yeah, like I was saying, guys, you guys want to be spamming the Discord Orb, and you guys want to be spamming the regular single orb attacks. And mainly what that's going to do is just going to push the enemy team back. See, guys, you're not going to get a lot of kills with this Senyata, right? Because the main point of this Senyata is to push the enemy back so your team can actually move on with the objective, or your team can actually reach the objective, right? Uh, in this area, I'm going to be, you know, shooting up a lot of enemies, and I'm going to be doing uh, decent damage to a lot of enemies, but I'm going to be getting a lot of kills assists. Also, guys... Keep in mind that my Harmony Orb, right, every time I have a chance to hit, hit an opponent with a Harmony Orb, I usually go for it. But also, most of the time, instead of doing a Harmony Orb on a, on a player that I can actually, um, you know, heal, because he has half health, I actually put it on the player that's actually pushing in the front lines, right? And the main reason why I do that is because I don't want my tank, I don't want the player that's in the front lines to actually die, because he's the one that's actually moving the objectives. Uh, this Senyata also works very, very well, specifically when you're playing against, uh, you know, selfish play. I mean, with selfish players, you know, those players that they just want to get kills, they just want to play Genji just because he's cool, they just want to play Hanzo, but they, they're bad with Hanzo. That's why, you know, you mainly just want to focus on the people that are pushing the objective and healing the people that are pushing the objective. Right here, I actually back off, I throw away the Discord Orb, and I constantly keep on throwing my orbs, and as you guys can see, the dude that was camping up there, he actually moved back, and he actually got off that power position. Which, of course, was actually very, very good, because if I wouldn't have done that, you know, he would have stayed up in that power position, killed the teammates that were actually making its way to its power position. Very, very cool. He actually fucking returns, because he's a straight-up bitch, and he was like, you know what, so I have fucked my bitch, so, you know, let me just be a little bitch about it. Um, right here, I give you guys the example of healing the dude that's in the front lines. I'm going to send the Harmony over to this other dude that needs healing. As you guys can see, uh, you know, I'm playing very aggressively, and this is actually the best example of playing aggressively. As you guys can see right here, I'm going to be spamming the Discord Orb again, right? And I'm going to keep on throwing my little orbs because uh, I want the enemy team to get pushed forward. I use Transcendence here. Let me just talk about Transcendence for a little bit. You guys want to be using Transcendence when you guys are actually... Um, when you guys want your team to push forward, also when your team is about to die, okay? You guys really don't want to uh, save it towards the last minute. Uh, you guys are going to be playing a little bit aggressively with this Senyata, as in, you know, adding pressure. Oh, look, 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 wait up. This is a perfect example of adding pressure. My whole team got exterminated right here, right? And all that I kept doing was spamming the Discord Orb, 
right and just spamming my my single orbs right because that's just pushing the enemy back and of course my reinhardt came out and you know my other team came out and of course right here we're going to be able to push the payload and of, or, of course uh get the victory look at that this reinhardt showed up i put his health down my other reinhardt finished him off okay that's what you guys want to constantly do like i said 100 eyes and yata you guys see the world with 100 eyes Okay, you guys have your eyes everywhere. You guys are fucking hitting enemies all over the place. You guys are just constantly being an annoyance, okay? Uh, back to the Transcendence. Uh, another reason, another way that you guys can use your Transcendence, when you guys are about to die, okay, and you guys see that, you know, there's no other option, use your Transcendence to get away and also use your Transcendence to heal some enemies that are around you guys. Look, right here, I wasn't about to die, but I knew that the enemy team was actually pushing forward, so I said, you know what, let me actually activate Transcendence, right, and that's going to make the enemy team probably push back a little bit, and the reason why they're going to push back is because they know I'm, you know, pretty much healing my teammates and my teammates are going to play aggressively. Guys, you know, this Sanyata works very, very well if your team is, like, very, very good. If, if your team is kind of average, okay? What you guys want to do is just constantly support. You guys don't want to go for kills. You guys just want to go for pressure, okay? Constantly add pressure, shooting your orb, shooting your discord orb. You want the enemy team to get away from your current teammates that are playing the objective, okay? It works very, very well. I'm going to be giving you guys a breakdown in, in, in uh, control very soon. Hope you guys